Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about Raman Spectroscopy. What is Raman Spectroscopy? Raman Spectroscopy is a non-destructive chemical analysis technique which provides detailed information about chemical structure, phase and polymorphy, crystallinity and molecular interactions. It is based upon the interaction of light with the chemical bonds within a material. Raman is a light scattering technique whereby a molecule scatters incident light from a high intensity laser light source. Most of the scattered light is the same wavelength or color as the laser source and does not provide the useful information. This is called the Rayleigh scattering. However, in case of a small amount of the light is scattered at a different wavelength or colors which depend on the chemical structure of the analyte. This is the Raman scattering. Here in this figure we can see the Raman spectroscope from SNN lab. What is the working principle of Raman spectroscopy? The working principle of Raman spectroscopy is based on inelastic scattering of monochromatic light from a laser source which changes its frequency upon interaction with the material. Photons from the laser is absorbed by the samples and it is remitted with a frequency shift up or down in comparison to the original monochromatic frequency. This is the Raman effect. This shift in the frequency provides the information about the rotational, vibrational and other low frequency transitions in the molecules. This technique can be used in studying the materials like solid, liquid and gaseous nature. In order to understand the spectroscopy better, we should know the difference between the Rayleigh and Raman scattering which we have already studied. Here in this figure, we can see the Raman scattering and Rayleigh scattering from the molecule. What are the main components in the Raman spectrometer? The laser source. The laser source is used for the excitation of the sample and resulting scattered light. Injection or rejection filter. The filter delivers the laser to the sample and allows the scattered Raman light to pass through the spectrograph. Spectrograph. The spectrograph is used to divide the light into separated wavelengths and measure the light intensity at each wavelength. Microscope. The microscope is used to focus the laser light onto a point on the sample surface and collects the Raman light. Computer. It provides the instrumental control and data handling and manipulation. Here in this figure, we can see the schematic representation of Raman spectrometer. What are the information that is provided by the Raman spectroscopy? Raman spectroscopy probes the chemical structure of a material and provides the information about chemical structure and identity, phase and polymorphism, intrinsic stress and strain, contamination and impurity. Typically, a Raman spectra spectrum is distinct chemical fingerprint for a particular molecule or material and can be used to a very quickly identify the material or distinguish it from others. Raman spectral libraries are often used to for identification of the material based on its Raman spectrum. Libraries containing thousands of spectra are rapidly searched to find the match with the spectrum for the analyte. What are the advantages and disadvantages of Raman spectroscopy? The advantages of Raman spectroscopy includes its strength in specifying the chemicals in the material which is a chemical fingerprint technique. There is no need for sample preparation and it is a non-destructive technique. The Raman spectra are acquired within the few seconds decreasing the processing time. What are the disadvantages? The disadvantages of Raman spectroscopy includes that it cannot be used in analyzing the metals and alloys. In most cases, it is not a quantitative regarding the composition. The Raman effect is weak and the detection needs a very sensitive and highly optimized instruments. The fluorescence of the impurities or of the sample itself can hide the Raman spectrum. In this video, we studied about what is Raman spectroscopy, what is the working principle, what are the components of the Raman spectrometer, what is the information that is provided by Raman spectroscopy and what are the disadvantages and advantages of Raman spectroscopy. These are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.